Hello viewers, welcome back to our channel. I am happy that we are making a video in our channel after 3 to 4 months at least. I know we have not made any videos uh, due to our personal busy schedule. Now we are back. We are going to play around with Power BI for at least near future. We are going to do more surgery on the data and we are going to see uh, the better outcomes. And the data that I have taken for today's video is ARM on soundtrack sales and we are going to uh, uh, this is just up to the year of 2010 and we are going to play around with this data and we are going to build the infographic chart for the sales data so let's jump into the content i am going to uh, present this in two approaches we can jump into the approach one now okay so as part of the initial setup just go to this get more visuals option visit the visual store and you have to download the infographic designer visual just type for infographic designer you must be able to see infographic designer here and just click on this and click on the add option here i already have the visual added in my palette so i don't need to add this again in case if you are doing this for the first time it's a one-time activity and once you add this visual to your palette it stays there in your palette just close here close this and then click so here you must be able to see something like this this is infographic designer visual just click on this visual you get a blank visual here just let me maximize this and i will show you the um, options category legend uh, then you have the measure column by and row by so I am going to show you two methods and in first method we are going to make use of this row by option and in second method we are going to make use of this category option I'll show you what is the benefit of either options and then let's pick one you can pick one among them right and let me explain you the data that I am going to use for today's uh, project so the data speaks about the sales soundtrack album sales of AR Rayman and I have taken this data from the Wikipedia and uh, it seems to be updated up to the year of 2008 or 2010. I think even after that he has uh, made some tremendous I mean albums but they are not captured in the Wikipedia and also there is a there, I mean things have moved into the digital world where we count the views instead of the audio record sales now let's go back here so here you can see my table in the fields and one thing is straightforward so just click on this visual one thing should be straightforward what has to be measured the measure should be the sales value so i'm just going to click on the sales and power bi is clever enough to place my sales value in the measure now i have to use my soundtrack album as a row by option i'm just going to click on this okay it has put this in the category and let me first show you the row by option later on we can speak about the cat category option so this is method one i have my soundtrack albums in the row by now you can see the values next to each movie let me just name give a different name let me give a different name here for this title soundtrack sales so that's my title of this visual now i just need to play around with this edit mark this edit mark is uh, it's not so easy or pain. it's kind of a painful option and uh, definitely Microsoft has to improve this option uh, in upcoming versions let's see if they are working on this but to make any this using this edit mark just go to the maximus, maximum view or the focus mode just take this to the focus mode now let me get rid of uh, this text but I will get rid of this text later you have this option called insert shape here just click on this insert shape and 
here you must be able to see plenty of predefined icons and these predefined icons are that's actually pretty much good for a uh, normal visual so it, it has multiple categories already and also it allows you to upload your own icons as well in case if you have your own icons from flat icon or other websites you can download them and you can upload those icons as well I am just going to make use of the existing icons I am going to make use of this coin uh, we can make use of this money bag also uh, let me make use of the money bag right so now we have inserted the shape but this is not I mean this doesn't look uh, well or doesn't doesn't satisfy our purpose now we have to make few configuration changes to make it look better so first thing I'm going to turn on this multiple units option no much changes let's see uh, if anything else make changes okay so what you must be able to see here is I have modified something here uh, I have modified this unit count by amount and column and I could see plenty of bags here right amount per unit let, let's just put one okay I think it got vanished let me let's just go ahead with row and column itself okay see row number of rows here we have one and number of columns here we have one only okay units per row that's the column I think we have just one let me just mark this one and then this unit per units per row is nothing but the columns or number of items okay number of items okay of this bag I am going to take Bombay as the benchmark Bombay has a record sales of 15 million so I am going to have 15 bags here okay to denote each bag denotes 1 million so I am going to mark this value as 15 okay so uh, let's see what happens okay so that has added 15 for all the items because we have said okay we said that okay have 15 items or 15 units per row so per each row it has added 15 items now how can we differentiate the sales value we have to make use of this fill percentage go for fill percentage and make use of sum of sales and now you can see that Bombay has 15 filled bags and then Rangila has 10 filled bags Dilse has 6 filled bags and then Gentleman has 4.3 filled bags that's absolutely something what we are looking for and then we have to make it li look little more nicer mm, uh, show partial item that's required this is just to show you the round items are okay this show partial item uh, you once I disable this I, you must be able to see 4.3 million has been rounded off to 4 million but I just need the, okay I need this and then let's keep keep ratio once we turn on this keep ratio it um, uh, makes the bag I mean reduces the size of the bag and makes it look much better then go for compact units and then fill direction I'm just going to select left to right what is the use of left to right here you must be able to see the gentleman uh, the bags are actually filled from left to right okay maybe here I can go for top to bottom also sorry bottom to top also so that it looks better something like this okay like the bags are being filled from bottom to top but normally when you go for uh, some other items like um, population or something we can also make use of left to right it's just the color okay it's just the option to show you in which direction the visual has to be filled right now it looks better uh, one thing that makes it clumsy is the text value that we are looking in the background so I'm just going to select the text select this and then get rid of this okay so now the text is removed uh, let's do one more small simple exercise okay we have to show um, we have to put the elite items okay the items that has been sold in uh, sold something above 5 million in different color okay 0 to 5 million in 
in a different color and less than 5 million in a different color. How can we show that? We have to go for this colors, okay? Um, value color, just enable this value color. Once you enable this, here you must be able to see a color option. But just by bending around this color option, it just changes all the colors, okay? But here you see something of data binding. This data binding is a clever option that helps you to apply the apply different colors based on the sales. And uh, here you must be more confident with the numbers. Uh, our requirement is to show anything above 5 million uh, sales in a different color. So add a split point. Uh, it should be 5 million, which is above 50 lakhs. Okay, 50 lakhs. Let me just type the value here, 500, 5,000. 50,000, 5 lakh, 50 lakh, okay, anything above 50 lakh should be marked in, mm, let me put this in blue, okay, and then let me add another split point, anything between, uh, I mean, 1 lakh to, um, anything between 1 lakh to 50 lakhs should be in a different color thousand okay hundred thousand ten thousand one lakh okay so one lakh to fifty lakh should be in a different color let me put that in something like this later on we can change the colors also and anything less than one lakh should be put under slightly uh, uh, red shade or a yeah, pink shade okay so let me give let me apply this you can see that Bombay Rangila and Dilse has created a record sales above 50 lakhs and then gentleman Tal uh, Roja plenty of movies falls between 1 lakh to 50 sorry 1 lakh to 50 <clears throat> and then you have few, I mean, last two movies, okay, Boys and Indran, uh, in thousands, okay. These are purely based on the Wikipedia data, okay. I don't want any genuinity for this data, so fans, uh, this is just a tutorial, okay, Power BI tutorial, and not about the error sales values, right. Now, this is our method one, just go back to the report, and that's how it looks, when you put this in your canvas, you can actually just scroll this way. Okay, so I think that uh, that's it about the approach one. And in second approach, we are going to um, create this with the help of category instead of instead of row by option. Okay, maybe one thing which we can see here is in case if you feel that okay each unit with uh, I mean, with the height is more, you can actually reduce them here. You have all these options here to reduce the uh, header header uh, header column width and height. I'm just going to leave leave them as it is, and then you also have an option for chart here. In this option, you just have only one option called cut. Since we went for this robe option. Now I'm going to go for the second option that is category and I'm going to show you how exactly it looks like. We'll catch you in the second option. Okay, in this approach, only difference is we are going to make use of this category option instead of row by option. And measure is going to be the same. I'm just going to make use of sum of sales that has been placed in the measure and category should be the soundtrack album. Now, what you can see here is a chart like this, okay, that shows you the, that shows you the sales, okay, and they are all sorted by the sales. Just go back to our edit mark designer and then make use of the icon. I'm going to make use of a coin icon here I am going to make use of multiple units, okay. So that gives a better picture actually. Uh, let's see, row count, 
yeah it is currently auto uh, okay let's let's give the control to system itself that looks much more appropriate but in case if you want to uh, so how this row count in makes an impact see this row count makes an impact in getting number of coins here i got almost okay close to 15 coins or so but uh, it, it has done a fair i i must say that it has done a fair division and it has given me 15 coins here and 10 coins for rangila okay so that's a, already it looks better and i don't need to do anything on top of this then fill percentage i don't need to go for the fill percentage because there are even because i'm just getting the coins with the same count for example wherever i have uh, 4.3 millions i got i got something close to three coins or something okay 10 10 coins for 10 million but let's see when i when i selected this option okay it has just generated few more coins and then okay 10 million shouldn't shouldn't be show sure like this okay see this is wrong this is wrong i expect all the coins to be right up here okay so i i just need to get rid of this fill percentage i don't need this option at all then uh, you have value color uh, last time we have seen how to give different color for different range of sales now i am just going to give the color based on the album it randomly picks one color for each album and it gives different color for each album then we can look for keep ratio okay and then compact units so that uh, has almost brought things down okay closer things are brought much closer then fill direction bottom to top that looks pretty much I mean that looks better let me get rid of this grid lines I hate grid lines I'm just going to get rid of this grid lines now um, even if you don't need the y-axis also you can just get rid of the y-axis here you can get rid of y-axis but let's have it okay let's have it um, at least just for a reference and then uh, many of you might be thinking how to have the <coughs> data labels in this chat uh, data labels are quite tricky but unfortunately Microsoft has not given a proper solution for data labels I'll tell you how to do that okay but it may not be right I mean it may not be aligned well let's give it a try go for insert text see I have inserted the text you can you must be able to see text something called text here on top of each column so what instead of having text what should be coming there it should be the sum of sales okay it should be the sum of sales let me go back and then you get something here 15 million uh, alignment wise yes it, it doesn't give you a better result you can give it right you can give it right by uh, making some changes on the alignment here but uh, based on my experience it will not give you a yeah, much accurate result that's still uh, okay you see in case if you don't want to uh, have them all within your within your um, coin area then you can put all these values on on the outer side instead if you want them all in inner you can just go for inner and then you can put them all vertical left align okay right etc so here you have the values 15 million 10 million 6 million 4.34 etc that looks better i will show you another option in case if you don't want to have this column i uh, have this chart as a column chart and instead you want this as a bar chart you can go for this now i have just modified this let me let me give it a try again okay i think this is not working fine yeah okay so you got something like this again uh, problem is if you can see all the text has aligned on the left maybe we have to put them all on the right side right align all the text so once you right align all the text 
you must be able to see the text having some overlap on the visuals but that's how it is designed uh, as i told you adding a data label on top of these charts is not a easy task and that that's somewhat that's slightly clumsy just to be on the <laughs> better side i generally like to delete the data labels and instead i will prefer to have either this okay when you go for categories you can always have this type of uh, x axis or y axis to know the sales values let me go back to column and also you get another option here when you deal with um, data of multiple axes when you have something on row by and also on the column by you get few more options enabled here which is not enabled maybe we will cover that in some other visual so that's it for the day uh, i know i have uh, made a comeback after a long time thanks for watching this video keep supporting us